Uh, yeah, can you explain? Uh, when when you see this drawing, mm -hmm. I've got uh, these extension lines. Uh, yeah, this one? Yes. Ah. Now, those measurements have got extension lines there. There's this line here. Mm -hmm. Now, when, when you look at this, the, the, the round uh, mark, mm -hmm. there are supposed to be extension lines coming downwards here. So you mean these lines, right? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay, I got, I got the point. When, 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 when you see them in your drawing, which you gave us, they look uniform. Mm -hmm. They come out clean and uniform. But when I was trying to set them in the AutoCAD file, I, didn't, I couldn't manage. They were coming out different. Others will come out longer. Even when I've, I've done the uh, dimension style setting. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I was wondering, how do you go about this, uh, putting out these measurements that I've got uh, eco extension uh, lines and they are uniform, all of them. Okay, so let's, uh, we'll do that, okay? We'll do that, right? So I can, I think I can handle your computer. Okay. So anyhow, I'll open a CAD ISO DWT file here. Right, I'll create a rectangle, 2000, tab key, and we'll say 1500. Okay, we'll say this is a footing. You can see my screen, right? Yes. Okay, so I'll say D enter, that is for dimension. I'll say modify. Mm -hmm. Right here, first I'll change the symbols and arrows. Arrow instead of 2.5, I'll make it uh, 50. And uh, the text height also I'll say 50. And we'll check the size first, okay? Text height 50. Okay. And say okay, uh, close here. Say it is updated, okay? Now the issue is uh, the extension line, okay? So when I say D enter again, uh, we'll say modify. Mm -hmm. Now, okay, I'll go to lines. And here extension line see there are two things extended beyond the dim line and this is offset from the origin okay yes for example I'll make this as 100 we'll say okay and close okay so that you'll get a better idea see now can you notice this portion is increased to 100 so that is extension yes. line is extending beyond the dimension line this is the dimension line no? extension yes. line is extending beyond the dimension line that is 100 okay that is understood okay right now yes. in this case if i create another dli okay dli uh, here also i'm going to get the same thing see how far you put it doesn't matter the extension beyond the dimension line is same it's not going to change right yes okay now what i'll do is i'll say again d enter and i'll say modify and see uh, here i'll make the offset from the origin also 100 and i'll say okay and close now see there's a gap Understand? This is maintaining as yes. 100. Now what I'll do yes, is again yes. I'll say DLI, okay, uh, and then I'll move all the way up to here. Now what happens is extension beyond the dimension line is same, but offset from the origin also same because I'm saying the extension line should start from the origin point 100 mm, so it's not changing. Actually, yes, you move your dimension line, the condition is maintained. Okay, so up to now understood, right? Now, yes, yes. This yes. is an option, but for you, you feel this as a problem. Okay, now let me solve it. Okay, so D, enter, I'll say modify. Then what I'll do is say, instead of offset from the origin, I have a fixed length of extension line. See? Okay, Understand? okay. If I make this fixed length, yeah. and then I'll make this as 100. Say okay. So now that is the fixed length. Now if you say DLI, and create a new dimension, see? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Understood, right? Yes, 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 yes. I, I struggled with this the whole day. <laughs> <laughs> this one is very clear now. Oh, okay, thank you, sir. Okay, so is, is there anything else? Uh, no, so far so good, and I'm enjoying the, the lessons. Mm -hmm. How uh, is that? I think even uh, and my, uh, my skills have, have improved. I'm saying it's it's just a pity for me that I've come to learn of these lessons a bit late in the year this year. Mm -hmm. uh, why I say so is because I've got a project at school. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm doing a diploma in construction management. Mm -hmm. And we've got a studio program where we do drawings. Mm -hmm. And I've been tasked to do a drawing in a, 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 a library, a public library mm -hmm. to draw the drawing for a public library mm -hmm. so 
and uh, at school we haven't been taught much of AutoCAD. Yeah. It was left to us to 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 learn on our own. Mm -hmm. So it has been a challenge. Mm -hmm. Last year I missed it. I didn't submit because I, I didn't fully understand AutoCAD. Mm -hmm. Now that I have learned one or two things from the lectures that you have sent, at least my confidence has gone up and um, um, I, I feel like I'll be able to do it, although I've got a short period of time to submit it because it needs to go before December. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's great to hear. Yeah. For now, I feel confident to handle soft uh, AutoCAD mm -hmm. um, because uh, I know what it's all about. Previously, I never knew most of these icons on the, on the interface. Mm -hmm. I would first challenge, I didn't know how to interpret them and how to use them. Mm -hmm. But now it's easier mm -hmm. uh, with a bit of struggle because I can't remember everything every now and then. But with practice, I, I'm, I'm able now to tell, OK, I need to go and do this. I need to go. And with the short notes that I'm writing in the book, I can make reference and get quickly what I want and mm. achieve it in a, in, a, in a short period of time. Yeah. Uh, to This drawing, I did it in just uh, a few hours. But the only challenge I had, a few I think an hour or 30 or so mm -hmm. to come up with the foundation and the columns and the beams, it was easy. Oh. And even when to adjust the center lines to, like you were saying, to the ratio when you when you switch off the MDS uh, L line type mm -hmm. and the like, all those I was able to do. But the only challenge came into how to set these dimensions and not have those longer extension lines. So that's mm -hmm. where I had a bit of a challenge. And since you have helped me with that, I think I'm, I'm good to go for now. And the course is very good. It's very helpful. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because already already somebody asked me to do a, a simple drawing for them. He's a civil engineer and he, he sent something to me. And I was quickly, I was able to return uh, that drawing to him. It was a floor plan. Mm -hmm. they, there was already a drawn floor plan, but they needed a few changes. Yeah. So when I got that, he sent it on WhatsApp and I quickly drew and sent it back. And already mm -hmm. he's sending more work to me. Although I told him I'm not yet fully back, but he says, no, with continuous practice, you're going to be to be good because you're already giving what we, what we require. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. And seeing them in the, in the way you've taken this course and mm -hmm. given the information, I think it gives a person... Uh, uh, a, a clear picture of what uh, a, a drawing is all about mm -hmm. because they are able to, to relate with the prerequisite information. Once you understand what a beam is, what a slab is, and when you are doing it on, 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 on as a drawing, it becomes easier and it makes your work easier and understand fully what you are drawing. Okay, good. Great. So go ahead with the course. We'll discuss further. Thank you so much, sir.